the Gorilla 5 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn the basics about the storyboard and shot list module. From the Gorilla toolbar, select Storyboard, then Shots. Now, in order to properly utilize the storyboard module, you should have at least entered your scenes, either from a screenplay or manually. You will see your entered scenes on the left side of the screen. You cannot enter any new scenes here. That is done in the breakdown module, and you could learn about that in lessons 3, 4, and 5. When you enter the storyboard module for the first time, you will be presented with a blank canvas for your scenes. Just as in the breakdown sheets module, you can navigate to a different scene by selecting it in the scene navigator. To add your first shot to a scene, select the Add New Shot button. Now, before I just click OK here to create a new shot, let me take a minute to explain how shots in the storyboard module work. Each scene can have multiple setups. Each setup can have multiple shots. This is a very useful way to create your shot list and will make your DP, cameraman, first assistant director, etc. very happy. We will see how this works as we proceed. So clicking OK here is going to create a setup for this scene. If you don't want to see this message every time a new setup is created, select this checkbox. Click OK. Two things happened. First, a new setup was created. It is called Scene 1, Setup 1. Second, you are presented with a Shots window that asks you to select a shot type. Gorilla comes with over 50 shot types, each with a graphical representation of that shot type. The shot types are also grouped in categories for easy access. In the basic category, there are basic shots such as master, medium shot, close up, etc. Select a shot type for your first shot. I'm going to add a few more shots to this setup. Now I have four shots for scene one, setup one. I can resize the storyboard canvas here and even expand the entire window to show more shots if you have a large monitor. Let's edit a shot. Select the Edit button. The shot type is shown here. This shot type name cannot be changed. You can, however, add your own shot types, which is explained in the next storyboard lesson. You can enter a short description here. If you want to enter a longer, detailed description, select this Edit button. You can also enter a start and an end time for this shot. The short description will appear here. You might have to refresh the screen to show it. You can rearrange the order of your shots. Let's say you want to start with the close-up and then go to the master. If you do rearrange the shot order, make sure you save your order by selecting the Save button. When you are ready to print your shot list or storyboards, select File Print. Select the storyboard module and then select the report you want to print. You can always sample any report by clicking the Sample button. Now I'm going to add a new setup for the scene. If you select the Note button for the setup, you can enter some information about this setup. You can also import a JPEG or a PNG graphic file, which can be a top view layout of your setup. A lot of DPs like to do this to show where the camera positions will be. OK, so let's create a new setup. To do this, select the green Add button next to the Setups field. A dialog will appear with the scene number and the next setup number. 
You can change this if you want. When you click OK, you will see a blank storyboard canvas. Select the Add New Shot button to create your first shot. I'm going to select the Perspective category and select a few shots. To toggle between the two setups, select the Setups pop-down field. Now, when you print this report, you will see two setups attached to the scene, each with a different set of shots. To remove a shot from a setup, select the Edit button, then select the Remove Shot button, then click Remove. In the next storyboard lesson, we will learn how to add your own storyboard to your shot types and how to attach elements to your shots. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot.